Hello guys and welcome back. I know it's a little bit late, but I want to wish you a happy new year for 2019. I've got a lot of exciting plans for the channel going forwards. I've already got confirmed three of the brand new FINA approved 2019 suits. I have the Arena Carbon Air 2 on the way, the Mizuno GX Sonic 4 and the Finney's Rival 2.0. So in terms of tech suits, there's going to be a lot of exciting stuff happening. As well as tech suits, I'm of course going to review other training aids and other stuff you might wear in races. And I'm going to hopefully try and branch out into some sort of other stuff regarding swimming. So maybe some different things I do as a coach, maybe some stuff you can do on the day of a meet. But I want to try and maybe diverse out of just reviews. But we'll see how that goes throughout the year. First of all, I want to thank you for the support you've given me in 2018 and I really hope that we can grow this channel, head towards a thousand subscribers and go from there. Today I'm going to be talking about some products that you do wear for a race but it is not a jammer or a knee skin and that is a swimming cap, something that pretty much everyone wears in a race other than a few notable exceptions such as Laszlo Che, Brent Hayden and Stefan Nystrand who all opted for a shaved head instead of a swimming cap. Now swimming caps are a bit of a touchy subject some clubs will make sure you wear your team cap and if that's the case do what your coaches say if you are able to wear your own hats then there are numerous options most big brands have at least one option and today we have five different hats to look at these are just a range of hats that i've collected over the years for personal use something to really take into account with race caps is that everyone's going to have different desires and preferences when it comes to them at a top level a majority of swimmers will actually race in two caps they'll have a simple silicone hat underneath and then they might have a race hat over the top of it personally i have tried to do this in the past but i just feel like my head's getting crushed i feel claustrophobic and i really don't like it i'm quite out of the norm i'm going to go through these hats in terms of order of preference so we're going to start off with my least favorite and that is this mad waif cap here it's the cheapest of the bunch it costs about seven british pounds and it comes in a small and a large size and a nice range of colors. The hat is really, really soggy and soft and flexible. When you wear it, I feel like it starts to slip off my head. So at the end of the race, it almost felt like it was sitting on top of my head like so. It didn't really hold its form too well. On top of that, as you can see, it's a complete circular shape, but I feel like it didn't come down the back of my head and over my ears completely. What I did end up using this hat for, and other people have liked it as well, is a hat that goes underneath your racing hat. So it actually works very well as a secondary hat, really lets a more specific racing hat grip on the top of it. As it is the cheapest of the bunch, but not one I'd recommend as a sole racing hat. The next one up is the Q swimwear hat. And at first I was really impressed with this. It has a thicker top section here with a little bit thinner at the sides. And as you can see, it really holds this dome shape well due to its thickness. Pricing is pretty, pretty reasonable. It's 13.99 US dollars, so about 10 British pounds. For the most part, it does everything you'd want from a racing hat. The reservations I had with this is that the material, the texture is really slippery. And sometimes when I was holding streamline, I felt like my arms were slipping out. Maybe that's just a problem with me. Maybe that's a flaw with me. But I actually thought this was my favorite hat at one point, And I went to wear this at the national championships in the 50 butterfly heat and I feel like I really slipped on the start my streamline and I, I have not opted to wear this hat again. If you've got a really tight streamline and you want a really shapely hat, one that holds its dome without even being on a head, just on my finger you can see it's, it's holding its dome shape, definitely has a thicker texture on the top and this might be a hat that you, you enjoy. And at £10, it's pretty damn cheap. The next hat is one I've raced in for a long time and that is a Speedo Faskin free hat. Again, this comes in a lot of different color variations, some really cool colors. A lot have quite a bit of a flare at the back, so they're like two-toned. My one is all black with just this pink flaunt at the front. Again, it has a similar shape to the Q swimwear with this sort of tapering towards the front of the head and then a little bit down over your ears and the back of your head. This one, unlike the Q swimwear, has the same thickness the entire way around the hat. I personally quite like. Not a big fan of the super shiny design, but even though it's super shiny, the, the, the silicone is really, really quite, not rugged, but it, it, it grips. And this is why I, I used to love racing in this hat, because I never slipped out of streamline. My arms stuck in place, they gripped on the side of the hat, and it never come off. My biggest drawbacks with this hat would be that it really wrinkled. There was always wrinkles somewhere on the hat. I really think if a hat's going to make a difference, it needs to be absolutely smooth and flawless. There's a real toss-up between the Speedo and the next two. On any given day, I could say either one is the best, and I think absolutely some people are going to prefer one over the other. And number two is the Mizuno Sonic Head Plus. This comes in small, medium, and large, as did the Speedo, I forgot to mention. 
It comes in about five different colors, and it also comes in a smaller version that doesn't go back over your ears with that tapering, and it also comes in an easy version, which is a different material. This is actually a very similar material to the Mad Wave hat. It starts thinner at the top, and then it gets thicker towards the, the, the edges, which really, really is nice, and it helps stay on your head much better. On top of that, it has a perfect shape. It is dead smooth, dead flat, there is not a crease or wrinkle when I wear it. It's somewhere between the Q Swimmer and Speedo in terms of grippiness. I don't find myself slipping out, but it definitely doesn't grip and hold that streamlined shape as well as the Speedo hat does. But for the most part, it's fine. And again, my biggest drawback with this hat is over longer races, like when I raced a 200 freestyle in this, I found it it's soggier, softer material. Again, started to slip up off my head. Not as bad as the Mad Wave because of the thicker edges, but just a little bit. So while when I dived in, it was perfectly smooth, at the end, they were starting to get them sort of speedo wrinkles in the hat. This hat, again, cost about 20 pounds. I imported it from Amazon Japan. It came within four days. I do find myself wanting to wear it more because and I like wearing matching hat and jammers. Next hat is my absolute favorite. This is a brand that I've not yet featured on the channel, and it's Swans. They actually sponsor my, my good friend, Reg Lloyd. He's the one who gave me this hat. The most weird material of the bunch, and there's none, none quite like it. It's really matte on the outside, you can see, and then it's really shiny on the inside. And that shiny texture, again, is as grippy on your head as that Speedo hat. So when you put this on, you can, you can race as long as a race gets, and it does not move in the slightest. Wrinkle-free when you dive in, wrinkle-free when you get out. And that's why I love this hat so much. Price is about 15 pounds. My only thing that I would prefer from this hat is, it's, again, like the Mad Wave, it's dead circular. It doesn't have any of that tapering around the back of the head. And I'd much rather it be like the Mizuno, the Speedo, or the Q Swimwear with that tapering over my ear. And I find um, the back of my hairline is also out. Let me know if you have a race hat that you prefer that I've not covered. Let me know if your team has a spe specified race hat or a dome hat or if you just end up wearing with a club hat. There's still even a few top level swimmers such as Mallory Comerford of the USA who wear latex hats as well. So some people don't even wear silicone hats like the ones I covered today. I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be some tech suit reviews coming very, very shortly. But for now, it's time for me to sign out. Please do spread the word about the channel if you're enjoying my videos. Press the like button, subscribe, and check me out on Instagram, at the swimsuit guy 95 Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you later.